Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd finish up our little double cookser carving today. Um, now, as you may have seen in the last episode, I tried to recreate um, a bench sander which didn't quite go to plan. Um, so since then, what I've done is finish these off mostly by hand. Um, you may have also seen my other video on the little sort of hand detail sander. Um, and these are relatively smooth now. You know, they don't need to be you know, a thousand grit sandpaper smooth by any means. Um, and what I'm gonna to do today, basically, is just finish these off. Um, and to do that, I'm gonna use some oil. Um, normally I would oil and wax them, um, but actually, these are going to two fairly young children. Um, a wax finish, it makes no real difference apart from the look side of it, but they do need good maintenance. Um, and I know that these two are not going to do that. Um, so I'm just gonna use oil. So what I'll do, I'm going to move the camera just a little bit closer in and I'll just take you through how we're going to do this. Right then guys, so it is this simple. I have some walnut oil here, I've got a little container to warm it up with and I've got the cooksers. Um, and the way I like to do this is rather than heat up the wood of the cookser, which you can do and I've done this in the past, you can sort of pop it in the oven on a really low temperature for kind of 10 minutes just to heat up and it will help the oil to soak in. Um, now because these have been out in a fairly cold workshop, even though they're fully dried out now, um, I don't really want to risk putting them in the oven and them cracking for any reason. Um, so what I'm gonna do is heat the oil instead. Um, and to do that, I've just got a little, um, I think this was an old tuna tin. Um, I've taken a pair of grips and just put a little bend in it so that I can hold it like this. I'm gonna hold that over the top of my um, little uh, propane stove there and just probably maybe no more than 30 seconds. You know, you don't need to make this oil super hot. You don't need it to boil or anything like that. It's, that's not what we're looking to do. We're just looking to warm it through and get it warm enough so that it will penetrate the wood. So I've put probably a couple of tablespoons in there for now and we'll get that down the side here. And all I'm gonna do is just light this up. Some gas on. And just very quickly warm this up. As I say, it doesn't take very long and you're not looking to get it sort of red hot, bearing in mind you know, you, you're very likely gonna get this over your fingers and your hands, so you don't want it super hot. And to be honest guys, that should be enough. So I'm gonna put that over here on the workbench. And literally, I'm just gonna take a piece of clean cloth, um, some kitchen paper in this case, stick that in there and just start working it in. So while I've done that, I just want to show you this very quickly with a close-up, just to give you the difference between the two. Um, and you can see how much that oil brings out the colors and the marks and the sporting of this wood really, really well. Um, now you want to apply this really generously because it will soak into the wood. And at the moment, I've obviously I've got my finger on top of the oil here. It's not burning my hands, but you can feel that it's hot to the touch. Um, and that's just about right for where we want to be. And you just want to really sort of work it into the wood. Now it's quite a messy process, so bear that in mind. That's why I've got a, um, a cloth down on my workbench, just so that the bench doesn't get too saturated in oil. The last thing you want to do is every time you touch your carving bench, end up getting oil all over your hands. So that's the inner side and the, um, the handle of this dumb for now. It will need a couple of coats. I'm just going to start on the other one. And really, it doesn't take a lot of work at all. All, you're making, all you need to make sure you do is that you really sort of slather that on. You know, you don't have any little bits where you've missed. And what this will do, the, the heated oil will start penetrating into the wood and basically start protecting it. 
and the benefit of this is once you've given it a couple of coats it will require a little bit of a buff off with another clean cloth and that's absolutely fine and what you'll get is a fairly nice sort of sh almost shiny finish it's not quite as shiny as if you give it a wax coating uh, but it will give you just as much protection and as I say I'm not wax coating this because it's for a couple of um, couple of fairly young children to use either at home or if they uh, they come outdoors of us or anything like that um, and all the wax coating is going to do if, if it's not handled particularly carefully is just sort of mark and, and, and make them generally look quite untidy um, so that's why I'm leaving it like this and what I think I'll do I'll finish these up off camera you don't need to see me putting four or five different coats on and I think what I'll do is I'll come back once we're all finished right then guys well that was it we are finished um, hopefully you will agree these will turn out pretty nicely I really like the way that walnut oil brings out sort of the color and the grain of the wood and especially some of that sporting on the inside on the top of the handles that kind of thing um, and I'm really really pleased with the way these have turned out um, now as I said before these are going to um, a couple of fairly young children um, and if just in case anyone was thinking about it and was going to ask the question I've actually made these a little bit thicker than a cookser would normally be um, and the reason for that is basically just to make sure that if they do get dropped uh, which is more of a risk because they're going to some, a couple of children um, you know they'll have a little bit more strength to them just in case they get dropped onto a hard surface or something like that um, but all in all I've really enjoyed making these um, you know making two cookers from the same piece of wood sort of doing both at the same time um, you know it's quite a nice process because you know you sort of, by the time you get to the point where you're uh, maybe hollowing out the first one you move over to do the second one and it feels a lot easier because you've already just done it once and it's kind of fresh in your mind uh, but anyway guys that was it really so I hope it was useful um, I hope it's maybe given you something to think about and hopefully you know I've got some of you wanting to try and do this yourself uh, you know, it's, as I say it's a fairly simple process you don't need a lot of expensive tools and that kind of thing um, um, you know certain things will make the job a little bit easier but it can all be done pretty much with a knife and a spoon knife um, you know if you've got gouges they do help I won't lie uh, but it can all be done with just a, a knife and a spoon knife in theory um, so anyway guys uh, comments and questions in the box below hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time thanks guys mm -hmm.